everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet the Lemon Balm Button Cow. This is an easy to crochet cowl. It's worked in rows of double crochet, finished off with a scallop, and it has a button closure. For this project, you'll need one full skein of Lion Brand's Wool Ease Chunky. I use the entire skein of that. And you'll also need a six and a half millimeter K crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle for weaving in the ends and sewing your button on. And you'll also need a button. Here are two different examples of buttons that you can use. And before you sew the button on, and you're selecting your button, you'll want to make sure this doesn't have buttonholes per se, so we're going to be putting the buttons in between these posts of the double crochets. So you want to make sure that your button can easily pass through prior to sewing it on. This one is very large, but it has kind of a, a pointy side, so it goes through very easily. This is a great way to use a singular button or a special button you've been wanting to use as well. So let's begin. We'll move our cowl off to the side. And again, I use the full skein of this. And before I begin, I just wanted to mention that the finished cowl is 38 inches long and measures about eight inches wide. You might get slightly different measurements based on your tension, but that's okay. So to begin, we're going to put a slip knot on our hook to make a slip knot. And I just want to give this end a fresh cut here because it, it's a little bit unraveled. To make a slip knot, we're going to wrap the yarn around our fingers and make a loop just like that. Bring the yarn behind your loop, reach in with your crochet hook and bring up a loop just like that and then tighten it up onto your hook. We have a starting chain of 20. To make a chain, we're going to wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. This is our starting chain, and you want to try and do it as loose as you can. You don't want it to draw up or be too tight along the bottom. So let's go into the foundation row. In the second chain from the hook, this loop here does not count. One, two, we're going to work a single crochet. To make a single crochet, Insert your hook into the chain, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. That's a single crochet. We're going to work a single crochet in each chain all the way across the row. So single crochet in this chain, single crochet in this chain. And by doing this, it's going to give us a nice, clean, sturdy edge for our cowl. The other end of our uh, cowl will have the scallop. So this will give the beginning edge a nice clean edge. We just pull a little bit more yarn. And again, we're just working a single crochet in each chain all the way across the row until we get to the end. And I wanted to mention also that the wool ease chunky is machine wash and dry. So this is an easy to care for project and it also makes a very fast and easy and very pretty gift that you can give to someone. So we're coming up to the end of the row here. This is the last chain. Just work a single crochet. Okay, so this is what foundi the foundation row will look like when you're finished. And row one we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn our work. And we're going to work a double crochet in this first stitch here. 
to work a double crochet wrap yarn around hook insert it into the stitch bring up a loop wrap yarn around hook bring it through the first two loops wrap yarn around hook bring it through the last two loops that's a double crochet let me just pull some more yarn out when you're using a larger hook like this it uses lots of yarn quickly again this is an easy project and a fast project we're also going to work a double crochet in each stitch all the way across so double crochet double crochet all the way across Okay, we're about halfway down our row here and I also wanted to mention the full written pattern can be found at the Fiberflex blog that shows more photos and ways to wear the cowl so we're just almost to the end here and again, we're working a double crochet in every stitch all the way across. And here's the second to last stitch. And then when we made our turning chain, we got this loop here at the end too. You're going to just work a double crochet in that turning chain space as well. Okay, so that completes row one. It'll look kind of like this when you're finished. So at this point, you just repeat row one until you get your cowl as long as you'd like it to be or um, to 37 inches because this is a finished length of 38. The scallop, where'd our scallop go? Here it is. The scallop adds an extra inch here. So to about 37 inches, and then if you want to just have a plain edge like this, or a scallop edge versus this versus this, it's totally up to you. So you just repeat row one until you get it to the length you want it, or you can continue and add the scallop. So let's begin the scallop edge. So to work the scallop edge, we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn. And then we're going to work four double crochets into this first stitch here. So one, two, three, and four. The turning chain that we did when we chained three and turn counted as a double crochet. So that would be it. And then we worked one, two, three, four. So that's a total of five for our scallop. Okay, then into the next stitch, just get some more yarn here. In the next stitch, we're going to work a slip stitch. To work a slip stitch, insert your hook into the stitch bring up a loop and then bring this loop through this loop just like that skip the next stitch and in the stitch after that we're going to work five double crochets one two three four and Five. So it's going to look kind of look like this when we start. And we'll just get some more yarn. We're using lots of yarn. Okay, so in the next stitch, we're going to get, again work a slip stitch. Skip the next stitch. In the stitch after that, work five double crochets. One, two, three. 
four and five. Next stitch, work a slip stitch. Skip the next stitch and the stitch after that, work five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Just pull my yarn out there. Seems like every scallop I pull more yarn, but that's okay. Okay, in the next stitch, I'm gonna work a slip stitch, skip the next stitch, and the stitch after that, work five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Slip stitch into the next stitch, like that. Skip the next stitch, stitch after that. Work five double crochet. One, whoops, two, three, four, and five. Slip stitch into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch. And in the last stitch here, we're gonna just ignore the turning chain. In the last stitch here, we'll work five double crochets. Again, one, two, three, four, and five. And then to finish off, our scallop down here has a nice rounded edge. And this one is more squared off and geometric at this point. So in the same stitch this time, we're going to work a slip stitch. And see how that, get this hook out of your way, but see how this kind of rounds that off very nicely. And then to finish, you can fasten off and then you can weave the ends in here with your tapestry needle and then you'll sew the button on. Okay, so let's do that. You can cut the yarn. Fasten it off like that. Take your tapestry needle, you'll have two ends that remain. Take your tapestry needle, thread it, and just weave those ends in. I like to go in once in one direction, and then come in and make another pass, just to make sure everything's nice and snug. Then you can take your scissors, Go ahead and trim that off. And then the tail disappears. So let's move our swatch aside for just a moment because I wanna talk a little bit about how to sew the button on. I'm gonna cut a length of yarn, not too long. Thread it onto your tapestry needle, a little tail like that. And if you look at the cowl, this is the starting edge and I'll zoom out just a little bit to show you, there we go, how it's placed. So you're gonna come in a little ways and sew your button. And if you slide the cow down, here's the scallop edge. So you can kind of see where to place the button. I'm gonna sew this button right next to it just to show you how to do it. So again, you'll wanna pass the button through in between these posts to make sure your button can pass through easily. You don't want it to be too big because you won't be able to get it through, but you don't want it to be too small either because it can fall out and not hold your cowl the way you need it to. So just place your button where you want it to go. Take your needle, come in from the back, go back down like that. 
Then you're going to do that a few more times. And I'm using white just because I was using white, but you'll want to use matching yarn. I used matching yarn for this button. You can see how nice that looks, how it matches. It kind of pulls the whole piece together. So you'll do that a few times, and then you'll tie off the back, and these little tails that remain you can just weave right into the piece and this button you can see I've done that and it just looks you can't see anything it looks like it was meant to be there and that it wasn't you want to make sure your finish work is nice and neat and that it doesn't show nothing shows but that's a nice flat invisible button that I've sewn on there so then we can remove this button it would look kind of funny with two buttons so then you can use your button you kind of fold it in like that you can button it closed and move our hook out of the way here and our little swatch that we created and you can see you can just close it like that and that scallop shows very very nicely and that is how you crochet the Lemon Balm Button Cow. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.